This is Copilot. So this is the car helping you to drive in the city. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ugu and this is the Xpeng G6 Diaries. On today's video, I will show you now the Copilot feature. So this is a new feature that it's arriving to our cars on this new XOS 5.8 version. And as you know, I had access to the beta versions of this software. So I was able to test a couple of features that I have been uh, showing. Uh, from time to time in the channel. And today I will show you just a quick um, view on the Copilot feature, that it's something that it's new, that was introduced or will be introduced on this version, and that will, uh, the uh, objective of it is to help you drive in the city. So what is the difference between Copilot and self-driving? So Copilot is it's just a subset of features that are more or less the same, but they are designed in a different way or implemented in a different way so that you can drive together with the self-driving of the car in a city environment. So for instance, if you are driving, uh, the car will activate ACC and LCC as you are used to, and so it will keep you inside the lane and will keep the speed that you define and will control also the speed based on the traffic in front of you. But then it will help you if you, for instance, need to do a maneuver, it will be very smooth. So there is no uh, interference of the system saying, that, no, I am driving. This is not implemented in this way. So if you just press just a little bit the um, wheel drive, the car will turn. Uh, if you just press the accelerator, the car will accelerate. So it will show on the screen a warning saying you are in co-pilot. Every time that that um, information is on the display, you know that you are the person driving the car. And as soon as you release every control, the car will then reassume the self-drive. It's important to say that this type of drive do require a little bit of get used to because it's somehow different. At least for me, when I tested it, it was very strange. The second time it felt better. And currently I am really using this function uh, a couple of times when I am uh, driving in the city. So let me show you already how this works uh, in uh, some tests that I did. And I did record a couple of segments so that I can show you. And then I will just tell you what you need to take in consideration while using this feature. So I will activate now self-drive, even though that I am more or less in the city. So I have set up the speed uh, limit to 70 and the car is now performing uh, self-drive. Well, in this new version, there is what is called the co-pilot. This means that we are going both to be driving, so the car and myself. And the change between us, it's going to be very normal. So I will just do my normal um, drive. And then as soon as I release, then the car will continue to do self-drive without disconnecting it. So the idea here with Xpeng is that this will help you drive in the city. So the car will control the speed. It will keep inside the lanes, but very easily you can perform maneuvers without uh, having to fight or disconnect the self-drive. It's important to say that, again, this is self assisted self-drive. So this means that you need to constantly be controlling the car, even though that it's the car that it's turning and making the uh, driving you need to control it. So you need to, for accelerating, of course, you can just press the uh, accelerator and you will override uh, what the car is doing. But for instance, let me check here where I should go. Okay. Uh, but for instance, um, when you are now doing maneuvers, you need to uh, do them based on the speed controls that you want to do and you need to control then the speed of the car using the, um, the wheel here on the drive. And then you can control also with the, the speed, the accelerator, if you want more speed or not. But it's the car that is driving together with you. So if you feel that the car is not performing at your wheel, as you can see here, we are co-driving mode, you can just do the drive for him and then just release the um, wheel drive. So that's why I say that this takes a little bit of time to 
get used to uh, because you need to understand the car, understand the controls and get used to it so that it looks more natural. I need to be honest, this is the second time that I am using this feature, okay? So the first time that I read uh, the information on the um, release notes, uh, it was stated that there was this option of uh, moving from self-drive to manual drive easily. And I assumed that it was just the normal self-drive when you wanted to overtake it. But in reality, it is not. In reality, it is co-driving. So there are some rules for co-driving to work. First, you need to be under 90 kilometers per hour, okay? This is not stated anywhere, but from what I understood, if you go over 90 kilometers per hour, you will then um, stop having this control, uh, mixed control uh, with the car. So this is one of the, the rules. And the second rule, of course, is that you cannot press the brake. So if you press the brake, then automatically LCC will be disconnected and it's over. So you stop the self-drive experience. So you need to control the car based on the wheel here, on the wheel drive, uh, to control then the speed, mainly when you want to reduce of course, that the car will control the speed because it's using ACC. It will control the speed based on the speed also of the car in front of you. So if you are driving in um, a traffic jam or in a city with more traffic, the car will perform well, stopping and slowing down, etc. As you can see, I am driving together with the car. So the car is controlling speed, is controlling lane, is doing the turns for me, is considering that for this turn we need to go at 50 kilometers per hour. Again, this is more or less related to the slowdowns, as you can see, so the car will slow down a bit because it doesn't feel confident to do this at the speed that I am. So it does control this. So it now depends on your type of driving, if you do like to drive a little bit faster or slower or whatever, uh, but this is co-piloting. So the car just helps you drive. So now I will just move to the other um, side. So when you are in co-piloting, I, I, I feel that it is not doing the lane changes, automatic lane changes. So it is up to you to do that. So it just shows here this message. When this message is on the screen, means that it is you that are driving the car. When that message disappears, see, is that it's the car that is driving the car. Okay, but as you can see, it is working. So sometimes I do need to intervene. I, I do need to make do the control of the car, but I am driving in the city, a lot of traffic, so it does work. Let's see how the car performs here. I will help, of course, but as you can see, we have some signs, traffic lights, and uh, cars are braking, and my car is braking also. So this is what um, self-drive should do uh, in the city, of course. So as you saw, um, co-driving or co-piloting uh, is uh, very similar to self-drive, but with uh, some different rules. There are a couple of things that I need to uh, say uh, before ending this video, is that it in fact needs some um, getting used to and uh, mainly because you need to be aware of a couple of things. So as you know, ACC does work well when uh, analyzing traffic in front of you and then um, trying to get you at the speed of maximum the car that is in front of you, depending on the uh, distance that you have set up for that car. But imagine that you are driving in the city, there are no cars in front of you, you have set up ACC for 50 km per hour, per hour and you arrive to a crosswalk where there is some pedestrians going to walk. You need to brake. The car is not going to identify the pedestrians, will not identify signals, traffic signals or whatever, so you need to do this um, in the name of the car, in the name of driving. So again, this is not city driving, this is co-piloting.
okay? Uh, there are uh, some other situations. So for instance, if you don't have any car in front of you and you are reaching a roundabout, the car still doesn't know what a roundabout is, especially here, at least in Europe, with the versions that we have in our cars. So the car will not understand how to circulate in a roundabout, so you need to take in control that. How do you take control uh, if you don't want to stop the car using brake? You need to use the wheel on the wheel drive to reduce the speed up to the point that you can control the car. But you do have sometimes to put the brake in uh, use. So this is it guys. This was the idea of this video just to give you a brief overview of the co-pilot that it's arriving to our cars. I will do a full review of the co-pilot feature together with also the self-drive um, new improvements on the final version of the 5.8 when it gets official, when it is released, I will test it, I will get used to it and then I will do a full review of it. Um, but today the idea was just to show you what is coming out, what you are about to get in your cars and um, the idea that this will help in a couple of situations. I do recognize a couple of situations where these can be uh, useful, but for most of the times, especially here in Portugal, where uh, we have some uh, the cities with a lot of traffic, so in main cities and stuff like that, I don't know if it, this will be uh, very useful. So again, I need to get used to this uh, feature, as also I do recommend you to get used to it before using it in full um, power. Okay, guys, so thank you very much again for being here. If you like this content, just leave your like, comment what you think about this functionality, if you think, think that this can evolve to something bigger. And um, of course, if you are not subscribed, do subscribe the channel. And again, if you do consider um, to support the channel, there are ways you can do it. Just check on the description. And I will thank you again for being here, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.